What's the password? What's the password? Hey guys, gals, cats, kittens, Elliot's, Maisie's, Don's in DC, and Saul's overseas. How you guys doing today? Look at this. We've got a King Kong's Thronester by Polar Lights today. Now this is a kit from a long 1998. You got it? I think I'm gonna open it because I got three of them. So, <laughs> now I have access to a buildup that is just fantastic and some process pictures. But let's dig into this baby and see what it turns out or could turn out to be. Man, the work day's over and it's time to escape. Man, that was a long day at work. Let's go into the corner of the garage. I cleaned out a space where we can escape to our childhood to creativity to the wildness of model making. This was the time and the place. And look at that price tag. You can't even barely buy anything for a buck anymore. We're in the garage and we're rocking it tonight. this cellophane wrap and you know so it is a wintry day and I'm gonna be kind of jumbling videos back and forth I went up drove all the way up to Richmond Illinois because there's a indoor flea market there and I went through there and then there was another store oh get rid of that and guess what <laughs> I ran out of space on my card I'm like oh my gosh so I'm gonna have to drive up there again oh darn to a thrift store oh darn <laughs> so here's our Kingster throne King Kong's Thronester so cool I love these kits now if you look at them they're a little goofy now these are heavy duty boxes oh I didn't get that all that corner Look at how it's packed in there. That is amazing. I'm going to take some snapshots of that just to document them. Hang on. Because I'd never get it back in the pack if you <laughs> I pulled that out. You know that. Hang on. So let's dig into this. Now, again, one of the reasons I started doing this was just to document all the fun toys and cars I got. So here is... King Kong Thronester and his body. There's his scary face, kids. Fay Ray's got nothing on this one, right? And then here is the rest. Now this is probably some vintage. Oh, look what we have here. An advertising for the amazing figure modeler. Discover shocking truths about monster making. Hobby covered so electrifying. Yo, bust a bolt. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. A little uh, insert discovering the definitive source for the latest in horror, science, fiction, and fantasy figure kits. Look at that. That is pretty sweet. Now these guys, they always have to put some, you know, cherry bomb in there. Now these are professionally done. And let me tell you, with some practice, you can get this quality. It is so cool. Oh, here you go. You'd like to subscribe. That's basically what you're doing. Revenge of the Garage Kit that ate my wallet. <laughs> oh, coming soon. Don't be a mutant. <laughs> I'm telling you, this kind of stuff is crazy fun. I got, when I was a kid, I always got the monster magazines, so this was right up my alley. 
So here's the King's Thronesters instructions. Okay. Now there's some things about this one that I just, I didn't think was cool. And I was talking to this friend of mine and we were kind of talking through it and brainstorming through it many, many years ago. And it was built with just some revisions. So again, these are super simple kits, but can be customized pretty easily. So see how those back wheels are? That was one thing that I thought was kind of goofy in the picture. And here it is. So there's your instructions. I don't know if I'm gonna open these. I think I might keep them in the plastic for now. Yes, the, it is not a sealed kit, but the thing is you can go get it sealed anywhere. And the uh, thieves out there and the robbers and stuff, they will fill a kit full of screws, a vintage box, and then heat seat or heat shrink it and then sell it for brand new and it's like you don't know if it's real or not or if it's now didn't I tell you I'd never get this back in hang on a sec I'll be right back oh I think I got it there so that's good now the thing is um, in the stills I'm gonna run my still pictures a little longer than the normal and you can see some progress shots on this, on this build. So here's the original box that was opened and used and built. I got that, which was cool. And then I got the actual kit um, for my display case, which was even cooler. So you ready to see this thing? Now, God, I hope I don't bust it. So here it is. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to all you out there watching. <laughs> I'm going to take the camera off here and we'll just go around it. This is King Kong's Thronester. <laughs> it is just so much fun. Now I'm going to try and remember what all was done on this. This is a pretty simple kit. Now these were normal now these back wheels on the box if you look at it they're they're inverted so they're kind of concave you see that it's just kind of goofy so the wheels were just turned normal still using the spikes and everything now I think the King Kong had uh, work done on the shoulder and if you look close you can probably see some of the putty in there but overall it is pretty good I think a banana shifter was added which is kind of fun a different steering wheel was added I think that was made out of like a shampoo cap this pinky finger was cut and extended to go up over the wheel like that because to mold it it wouldn't have been any different the crown is the same a windshield was added with some uh, controls on the dash which is kind of fun this nose I think came out a little bit and a grill was added you can kind of see I think that screen or something on there 
But overall, this is the paint job turned out pretty good. He's a pretty good painter. And then the hilarious thing is, now it looks like this broke, it was glued right here. So you've got the, the biplanes or the triplanes that flew against them and the Empire State Building. Big tarantula on the back. Isn't that hilarious? So this would have glued up like that. And I think this is the Red Baron um, biplane because it's like, it's not authentic at all. It's more uh, show rod style, but on a little spring there. And again, if, if I just need a little super glue to glue that into place. Now, if I built this, I think <laughs> I would have put a turtle back on this, on this roadster and not just had it, the rear axle hanging out like that. But let me tell you, this is a very fun, got King Kong's throne stir across the back. Some nice painting, green. These I do believe are the original side pipes. You can see how kind of um, cartoony they are. But again, those could be easily shifted out and switched out. This, <laughs> this cracks me up. And of course, gorillas are really cool. And King Kong is really cool. So there, there's some good dry brushing painting on that. Hopefully I can master that someday. So, <laughs> there you got it. This is a very short video on a build that's in my case and let me tell you if you guys are model builders this is a great one to start with but <laughs> these are probably expensive by now you know when they came out you could find them pretty much anywhere and anyhow in any direction but now I don't think they've made them for a while and model building is just going downhill now I saw some model kits at that at thrift store today and I might have to now again I don't know if you're skipping through but if you're not skipping through I might have to lighten up the uh, sound on those because they had you know regular sound uh, music being played throughout the the flea market so I can't I have to distort it somehow and still talk over it but if they um, they've got spiders out on the internet that are uh, looking for copyrighted music so I can't have a copyrighted music on my video so I might have to delete the sound but they had model kits there for about 10 bucks and there was some a, a helicopter and then like a navy plane that was kind of larger scale which was pretty cool so there you got it there's your thronester <laughs> and there's our boxes this is a very fun kit now some uh, garage kit guys they they came up with a creature from the black lagoon and a couple other ones uh, there is a vampire one there's a whole series of these, and I've got, I think, most of them. The hardest one to find is the uh, Godzilla. So I was lucky to find those on the shelf in an old, old um, hobby store up in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And the guy, it was just regular price, you know, model kit price. And I'm like, yes. So there you got it. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to all you out there watching! <laughs>
are set. Thanks again for coming in. Like and subscribe. Go check out Cancelled Fireman Food on YouTube. Or Fireman Food 1988. He is doing videos again and that is pretty awesome. So go check him out. Subscribe to him. Like and subscribe. He's got great, great collection of cars. So thanks again for coming in to a toy car case event. Johnny Roman Supper Club. Ah, remember, it's people that really matter in life. Nothing else does. Be nice to each other. Be kind. <laughs> and remember, life does not start till after 3.16. Rock on, babies! I will see you soon. Rock on, my friends. Rock on. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.